Welcome YouTubers and Hubsons AM enthusiasts. This is just a very short video today and this was prompted by drone addiction um, Hugh Pollock, I think his name is, from memory um, who asked a question in one of my other videos about the indication of control signal um, at the range max of the Xeno and so him and plenty of other correspondents have said that it goes from full bars to zero and so there must be plenty of um, signal left, left to go further and that um, Hubson are purposely um, killing the Wi-Fi at that point. Um, this is really just to point, off that, point out that that signal bar does not represent anything to do with signal strength of the Wi-Fi signal. Um, and I'll just do a quick demonstration here today to show you what actually happens if you measure the Wi-Fi signal externally. And of course the reason the control channel breaks at the 1000 meter mark is because the error rate on the control channel is just too large for it to um, stay connected. So it disconnects and that's why when it comes back in range again there's a little bit of hysteresis, that's a bit of lag, before it re-establishes and you get control back again. Same goes for the video channel which uh, again rides on the same Wi-Fi but obviously using a different protocol it doesn't drop in the same manner. Well, I'm not going to go too technical into how, how or why that is. Anyway, this is just a quick one. I'll put side by side the um, screenshot from the quad and the screenshot from the signal meter and we'll see how they compare and you'll see that the um, signal bars are basically meaningless unless you, phone, unless you fly only with the phone and that's a completely different matter because of course the signal bars then are derived from the Wi-Fi interface within the phone itself. Okay, so here we've got the screenshot from the uh, Xeno as we go off on a quick run. And um, on there we can see the normal control channel, four bars, and the video, four bars. And I've superimposed on the screen two external Wi-Fi monitors, which show the Wi-Fi signal strength. And as you would expect, that signal strength drops continuously uh, as we progress further and further away from the controller as you would expect. Um, all the time the two bar graphs show nothing other than four bars and they will remain showing the four bars until such a stage as the actual channels drop because these are not an indication of signal strength they're an indication of channel connectivity. Okay we'll just have a brief look closely at those three connections so uh, first of all we've got the red one shown here which is the control channel and that really is an indication of the connection of the control channel. These are both binary, they're either on or off so you've either got a channel connected or you have it disconnected and that will be related to the error rate on the channel. The same goes for the video, it's either on or off, it never really drops between anything in between and then finally the Wi-Fi signal which Opson don't provide a monitor for but on this um, screen we can see that it's now dropped to minus 100 dB on our monitor which is basically disconnected. Uh, in, in real life of course the quad's still going because um, this isn't the actual Wi-Fi signal received by the controller which will be um, several dBs higher. Anyway we're now coming up on this flight to a thousand meters where we normally will get a disconnection with the stock quad and I expect it to happen any time now and we're now 1060 and that looks like it's probably about it at this stage you'll see both those control and the video signals drop into zero and there they go so that's when the error rate reaches a, a level that can no longer sustain the channel and the aircraft disconnects and goes into its return to home mode So you can see we now have this little bit of hysteresis, this lag between the uh, channel dropping and the channel returning and there we have it's come back up 1023, so that's about 40 metres it's travelled back. Um, so in that distance it's had to resynchronize both the control channel and the video and now we can now fly back to base and um, as we come back the signal strength on the Wi-Fi monitor should start to increase once it gets back within a reasonable range of the 
within the performance metrics of these monitors themselves. Okay, so while we fly back, we'll just have a quick discussion on the range of the Xeno. As you can see there, it um, started to return home just over a thousand meter mark. And that is because of the constraints of the physical hardware within the, the Xeno. Um, you can look up the technical specs if you want for the AR1021 um, devices used in the Wi-Fi. And we know the antenna gain and we know the power output. And so we can actually calculate the range. If you really want to do it, here's the, um, the, the formula. Um, it's actually quite simple and straightforward and all the, the information is available online but if you do the calculation and I'll put a link up on the corner now where I've already done this you'll find it comes out around about 1100 meters which is exactly the sort of range that 99% of people get and um, that is the constraint on the Xeno the hardware and nothing to do with the firmware So back at the beginning, I did say that the um, the, the bar graphs actually do indicate um, correct signal strength when you fly only with the phone. And I just quickly superimpose a screenshot here, and you can see on this case that the little controller icon and now representing the Wi-Fi signal direct from the phone actually does follow what you would expect. And as you go out um, in distance, the signal bars start to drop. So I'm not really quite sure why Hudson have not implemented that uh, when using the controller. Uh, they're obviously just picking up the wrong parameter. And uh, probably nobody has really alerted them to the fact that their um, indicators are useless <laughs> to all extent and purposes. Uh, maybe in a later release they will, they will fix that. Okay, so comment below and uh, ask any questions. And if there's anything else you want to suggest that I discuss, let me know. Okay, hope that was of some use. If you like this sort of stuff, uh, keep watching and I'll try and get some more information to you as soon as possible. All the best and happy flying.